Zoning Board of Appeals, Town of Waitley. Notice is hereby given that the Zoning Board of Appeals of Waitley will hold a public hearing on Thursday, March 2nd, 2023 at 6.40 p.m. On February 1st, Catherine Poole applied for a special permit to relocate her hair salon from, Sac from Hatfield to premises located at 3B State Road and owned by George Gay of Hatfield. Application for the special permit is to be considered under the provisions of the Waitley Zoning Bylaws as provided by Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40A. The hearing will take place virtually via Zoom. The rules of decorum for a public hearing remain in effect and the chairperson will seek comments from the public when appropriate to do so. This notice is also published electronically on www.recorder.com slash public dash notices and www.masspublicnotices.org. And there follows the information on how to join the, the meeting by computer or by phone with the appropriate codes and passwords. Uh, signed Deborah Carney, Acting Chair, Zoning Board of Appeals. And this legal notice ran in the recorder for Greenfield on February 16th and 23rd. Thank you, Mary. Um, Ms. Poole, did you notice any errors or omissions in that notice? Um, I'm not sure if it said that the salon I own currently is in Hatfield, but it's actually in Amherst. In Amherst, okay. I, I'm, I live in Hatfield. That might have been where the confusion was. Okay. All right. We'll, that's noted for our record. So you're moving your salon from Amherst to Waitley. Correct. Okay. Um, okay. So the first, the first question we had as we were looking through this is... Um, why did you feel you needed a special permit? Um, that was somebody, that was an, um, some advice I was given from somebody I emailed. Um, Might have been, I don't know, maybe the Board of Health. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember exactly who it was from, but he said to go through us get, to get a special permit for it. Okay. Um, did you have a chance to look at our table of uses in the zoning bylaw? I did not. Okay. Well, you're, you would be a commercial use, and my fellow board members absolutely jump in here. Um, if I think that you would be coming before us with a personal and consumer service establishment under the commercial uses. We don't okay. have, um, you know, we don't have anything that's specific for a salon, but uh, my sense is that the salon would fit under the personal and consumer service establishment. Okay. Um, Kristen and Fred, would you concur with that? Yes, I definitely would. That's. Yes, that's I would as well. Well, this is what brings us to something that we were a little confused by in our table of use. And that's on the, um, I can tr try to go out and get it in a moment, but under in the commercial district, that is allowed by right. So our question is, in other words, it doesn't need a special permit, okay. but our question is whether or not your salon, and I'm gonna now share the screen, is in the commercial district. Um, can everyone see this? No. Not yet. Not yet, okay. So, Deborah, you said this use is allowed by right in the commercial district. Yes. Not yes, a question. It is. It's just about is it located there? Right. Now, what I'm trying to do is share. Okay, I'm going to stop this one. I'm trying to share this, the map, which has just left us. Okay, I'm going to have to go out and get it. Um, Okay, one moment, everyone, while I go out and get that map again. Um, I don't think they did have to send their bill name. Hmm? They can hear me, so I'm being careful. That's okay. <laughs> um, one second. 
can people see this now? Yes. 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 So everything here that is green from the North Hatfield, the town line, is the commercial district. Are you aware of what district you're in? Um, We're right there. Can I intervene? Speak on this. I'm sorry. Does, who's who's trying to speak? Not sure. Okay. I we need to get clarification on whether the property, the the former gays building, is in this commercial district, and if it is, it is. It is. And Kristen, you're pretty sure about that. It, well, it, it, right at the very at the, at the very bottom where, where the green starts, that's Route Five and Ten. Right. And it's Gay's Package Store is four buildings up into Waitley. Right. I, yeah, I I I think that you are allowed. I mean, I don't think. I mean, our bylaw states that you are allowed by right to do this, and so I'm. Now, obviously, the zoning board only only approves um, something as to the use, and I know that you have um, all kinds of regulations through the state boards of cosmetology and salons and things like that in terms of any kind of hazardous waste or um, materials such as that. Now, do you know if you'll be going before the board of health as well? Um, I. I'm pretty sure salons don't fall under the um, under the category of Board of Health. It's just the Massachusetts State Board. Okay. Okay. Now, one of the things now we have we have um, 65 days to um, to make a decision, and I would like to check with our town administrator just to be on the safe side. And of course, I'll be in touch with you. Um, but I. Um, is there anyone here who has information that they wanted to share about this project? If I could jump in, yes. uh, if you don't mind. I, I believe that that is the commercial district. I think it goes right to the town line. So I think that right. should be fine with that portion of it without concern. I think the administrator will be able to confirm that. Um, by, uh, as an abutter, the only reason I come in and, you know, and I welcome the idea of a salon in that space, be great use of that space. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to have some something in that area and, you know, kind of build up Route 5 a little bit more. Um, the only concern that I have is just the discharge and what the um, septic system and how everything, how, what your usage will apply to um, the discharge. Uh, you're, you're within a hundred feet of uh, wetland there. And uh, I don't know what the quality control is on that septic system. And I was just curious about that. Yeah, um, I know that was a concern for the landlords as well. Um, as far as how much water usage goes, I would say we're not there 24 seven like a household. Um, we're only there five days a week. Um, and we don't use as much water as we would a shower, um, uh, washing dishes, really like quick shampoos. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how much water and I can find, try to find out from the town of Amherst how much we currently use now. Um, but I would say no more than a normal like household of a family of four. Sure, yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I, the chairs, you know, for cuttings and stuff obviously don't use anything. And Correct. Um, my, I guess my concern as a butter is just the, the, the types of chemicals that get put into the groundwater. You're within 1,400 feet of both wells, both Hatfield and Waitley. Um, okay. 100 feet of the wetland in any kind of a breakout area with the septic system. That was, that was my concern when I saw the uh, letter come in. Um, again, I would welcome you into the town with open arms, but because it'd be great use of that space, it's been used for a few things, but it, it's been vacant probably too long. And, uh, but I, I just would be bring my concern to that discharge concern, you know, issue. And, you know, because you have a lot of water back there. 
and you're not that far away from that. And if the if the septic system can manage that without discharging into the groundwater, then yeah, I think it'd be a great use of that space. Thank you. I, you know, you raise very good points because one of the provisions of the special permit is conformance with the environmental performance standards. And had we not had this confusion about whether we you even need a special permit, we would have walked through those with you um, to make sure. And if and given the location to wetlands, you may have to have this project go before the Conservation Commission as well, because of um, if, especially if there is discharge. But I do think at this moment in time, the table of use is so unambiguous, saying that it's allowed by right. And that the use is a personal and consumer service establishment. I would almost like to continue this hearing until I can get clarification from our town administrator. Are you amenable to that? Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay. And, but if we continue it, that means we would need, I can, I mean, if you don't need a special permit that I can let you know. Okay. Um, but if we, if you do end up needing a special permit, if there's something that we're missing in this, then we would be continuing to next month. And is that okay. with your time frame? Uh, yes. Yes. I. Yeah. Okay. I my lease is up at the end of the year, so I have I have a little while. <laughs> okay. All right. That I I very much appreciate that. Um, hey, Deborah, can I yes. can I bring bring something up? Of here? course. Uh, this is in that uh, what do they call it aquifer protection overlay district. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called zone zone one, and and if you look at our, our zoning bylaws, turn to page uh, 78, it okay. talks about hairdressing and beauty salons needed to uh, have a, a prohibited from the Niagara for Protection District. Okay, we look that's at page good. 77, prohibited uses. All right, Fred, hang on, thank F, you. Or E, section E, prohibited uses. It says following uses are prohibited within the aquifer protection district. And I think it's, well, zone one, it's, I, I didn't read all the conditions one and two, but if you turn the page to page uh, 78, number uh, K. I see it. Hairdressing I see it. And salons. Uh, and maybe that's why this person thought that something had to be, some action had to be taken by I'm zoning okay. Board or I'm, somebody else. That I'm very glad you found that. Um, okay. Yes. All right. No. So let me just bring that zoning map up again. Now we don't. Okay. So do we? Do we have a copy of the uh, overlay district that we can look at on? We Let's do, on but map. I'm going to have to go out of the meeting and get it from um, the town website. So one moment. It should be on that map, though, that you showed, Deborah. That's the zoning map. I can try. I can try. Yeah, but the, but the I don't think it gets... shows the crosshatched areas, which is the overlay district. Yeah, that crosshatch. Um, if you look to the right, okay. aquifer overlay zonings two and three. Okay, one second then. So, but you were pointing out. Aquifer protection in zone one. The following uses are zone one, two, and three. Do we have a zone one on here? Zone one. Uh, can you see my cursor, everybody? Yes. This is zone one. Well, is that one or two? Well, here, oh, that's that's two. 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 We don't have okay, this is zone two. Here it is. This is zone two. All right. And if your building is within this zone, if it's in the aquifer overlay district zone two, then it is prohibited. So 
Kristen, you're, you have a good sense of that area. Do you feel that that extends up with this legend? I believe that um, it's very close to the Hatfield line. What do you think, Kate? Isn't it? It's very close. It's, yeah, it's um the Hatfield sign is right next to it. It's very close. Yeah. I mean, so I'm I'm happy to continue this hearing if you want to verify, Kate, that your building is not in the aquifer overlay district. But if it is in the aquifer overlay, I'm sorry. Did somebody say it is? It is. It, I don't know if you can hear me, but it, it's it's it is in that that section that you're talking about. And who are you, please? I, I'm Leah Gay. I'm the owner of the property. Where your arrow is right now on the map? Yeah. We're probably a little lower. We're right on the corner. So you're lower down here. Yep. Yes. Okay, so you are in the aquifer overlay district zone two, as Fred has pointed out which means that a hair salon is prohibited. Hairdressing and beauty there's no, salons and there's are no changing, And there's no changing that based on the laws of the town. Uh, no, no. I mean, okay. if, if that's a prohibited use. Okay. It is prohibited within the Aquifer Protection District. Okay. Um, and that now explains why you thought that the special permit might be a way around that, but because it's a prohibited use, um, I mean, I, I suppose somebody could ask for a variance, but I think it would be very, very difficult to get a variance. Um, it, I mean, that's a prohibited use to protect the water supply. Um, so I'm, my set, does anybody else wanna be heard on this topic? No, I mean, it's, it's we're, we, that's why we wanted it to go before the town because we were unsure. Okay, let me direct you and, and that, and, and I frankly too, I had scoured the bylaw and was wondering why you were before us, but thank, thank yeah. you Fred for discovering that. Um, if, if you go to the town website, there is a copy of the latest Waitley zoning bylaws and the, the, um, the map that I've been showing is a map on the website as well. And so the overlay district has a number of prohibited uses. So although a personal and com uh, a personal establishment could be allowed in, in the commercial district, um, if it is on that prohibited list, probably because of the discharge of, of wastewater, um, then that supersedes what's allowed. Okay. So that documentation is there to be seen. So when you're, I know you're looking for a tenant for that building. And so it's um, a good idea to check and see what kinds of uses would be allowed or not allowed since you are in the Overlake district. Okay, thank you. I am very thank sorry, you. Kate. Me um, too, I was looking forward to it. <laughs> um, at this point, here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but can she apply if she was to get a performance on the septic? Um, is apply for a special permit to show that the septic would handle that kind of establishment without an erroneous discharge? It is, as the bylaw reads, it's a prohibited use. So, I mean, if you want to, I mean, I, I mean, I suppose somebody could challenge that with a legal argument, but I, I mean, it has been voted and accepted by the attorney general as a prohibited use within the aquifer overlay district. I mean, so even if we had town sewage, you could, probably. it would still be, if, if there was know. towns, if, if there wasn't a septic there and it was town sewage, would it, just out of curiosity, would it change it? I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea. Uh, we, we are only here to interpret these bylaws and, and, and make our decisions based on the bylaw. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think the, the, uh, the waste or liquid waste for, uh, that we're dealing with here is pertains to the hairdressing and beauty salon activities, not, not the activities of say a restroom per se, the activities of a restroom are, 
probably allowed under and, and acceptable because there's a septic system there and it's working and it probably can be approved by Title V. But I think this talks about the, the waste material coming from a hairdresser and beauty salon going into that system. And I, I, I'm just guessing here if, if they could show that that waste material is not going into a septic system or into, into runoff or anything anywhere else on the property, then maybe that's a justification for being there. But I think that's why it, it, the prohibited use is there. It, it's pretty so, clear. It's on, on page 75, it says prohibited uses. Right. And number K is hairdressing and beauty salons. Right. So, I mean, it's just, you know, doesn't say that it can be a special permit or anything. It's just 100% prohibited, right? That's yeah. right. right. And, it, and it, it, it would be unlikely to be a special permit. I mean, that would have to be, I mean, prohibited is the strongest language that there is in the bylaw. Right. Um, there's no provision there for... Um, yeah, there's no wiggle room in, in that word. I mean, it's... Um, well, but you and, see, if, if you go to the same page, if you go to J, it says storage of liquid hazardous material. Unless you can put it in a storage tank above ground, the impervious surface and, and other conditions. So there is a, a, an, an option for liquid hazardous material. Now, that's the only reason I bring that up. I don't know if this is hazardous material from a, from a hairdresser or not. But. It is. See, there isn't out there for that for that type of activity, but not for hairdressing beauty That's salon. Right. So. Yeah, and if I mean, I mean, we have certainly had um, applicants get attorneys and make a case and um, attempt that. I, I think something, you know, I'll be very honest, something as sensitive as the water system in Waitley, given our history, um, is something that we have to take very, very seriously. And if, I mean, you are absolutely, um, I mean, I, I can continue this hearing if you wanna get an attorney and, and make those arguments. And I suspect we would, we would probably wanna consult our own attorney as well. Um, but it's, as Kristen says, there's no, and as Fred just said, there's no out for the hairdressing salon. And um, we have to go with what's actually written in the bylaw. Can I interject, uh, Lee? Mm -hmm. um, is there a possibility of attaching that? Does Hatfield have a town sewer? Uh, Hatfield doesn't come. Hatfield has town. They're putting in town sewage, I think, down to there, but they will not allow Waitley to join it. I mean, it, it's it's up to you, Kate, what you want to do. If you want to do more research into this and make an argument, we can continue the hearing. But it's a it's that language is awfully strong at at this moment. I mean, I what do my fellow board members think at this moment? Uh, I, I would agree with what you're saying, Deborah. If she wants to continue. Fine, I guess we'll we'll listen and and uh, discuss it at, a, at another time if she wants to get more information and present a uh, a case for it. I guess. I, yeah, the language is is specific, but sometimes attorneys look at some uh, different angle of this. I guess I would say, but you never know. Could she use the same space if she didn't use any discharge, of, like if she wasn't doing perms and bleaches and things of that nature, just a cut shop, like an old barber shop? Could she? And do you think that would change anything? It doesn't say so in the. It doesn't. The language of the of the bylaw is pretty clear. I mean, you you described your business as a hair salon, and I'm not even sh sure that it. I mean, that's it's your business, of course, but I, I mean, would it even be a a 
a viable business if you were just a cutting cutting hair? And we really um, thrive with colors and yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, are, do you, should we put it to a vote? I think it's up to the applicant. I mean, if we vote, if we close the hearing and vote, that's the end of it. If you want to um, continue this hearing to see if you can make another argument, although I would have to say that I'm not sure that there is an argument to be made. That's just me and I'm one vote. Um, but it's up, it's up to you if, um, I think if, I mean, the word prohibited, like you said, is very strong. Um, I don't know if, I mean, I love the space. I have these beautiful plans made and, um, but I think if I was to get an attorney and try and fight it and spend all this money for it to just not work out. Um, I mean, if it's prohibited, it's prohibited. I think it comes down to that. Yeah. Um, does anybody, so do you want us to go ahead and make our decision? Um, I, I, I guess so. I mean, Lee, I don't think, I mean, I think she would probably agree to if, I mean, if the town isn't going to probably accept it with the septic and. I agree. Um, yeah. I, do. I, I don't want to keep, good. I don't want to keep prolonging it for them too. I want them to be able to rent their space. And um, so. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think if, if we knew that there was a, a good possibility we could switch it, then I would say go for it. But yeah, you spend that money fighting a battle that's not that's not going to materialize that. who's that gonna yeah. who's gonna who's that gonna help right um, exactly yeah so we I, I, well, yeah we'd love to have kate but you know it is what it is i so um make a ruling does i, I kate, yeah i would just make a ruling is that what you want kate you're the applicant yeah i agree yeah Okay, with that, I'm going to close the public portion of the meeting. Do I have a second on that? Second. Um, so now we are not accepting any more um, comments from the public and we'll proceed to deliberate, you know, in public, obviously. Um, I am very grateful to Fred for finding that uh, in the overlay district. And um, I think that given the language in that in that provision, um, I have to deny, vote to deny this. I will second that. Okay, is, are we voting right now? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll agree to deny the permit. Deny okay. the applicant's permit, yes. Okay. So I'm very sorry, Kate. I'm sorry that this didn't work out. And, um, and you did make a lovely plan. And I hope I hope that you'll be able to um, relocate your business elsewhere. And we will write up this decision, and um, you'll be informed when it's signed and ready to be picked up. Great, thank you. You're welcome. I am very sorry. Thank you. So the board has some. I mean, the public is always invited to stay, but we just have uh, administrative work to do. We have to approve our minutes and such. So if you don't want to stay and have us watch us approve our minutes, you're all welcome to to leave. Thank you. Okay. Good luck to you. So Mary, I I was able to um, read the most recent minutes that you sent, but I wasn't. Um, I wasn't present on the November 3rd minutes, so uh, only Fred and Kristen can approve those. Okay, I make a motion we approve the November 3rd minutes. I will second, I'll second that. Okay. Roll call vote, yes. Yes. 
And did did anyone else have a chance to read the November 17th minutes? Uh, I don't know if I'm on that November 17th. Hang on for one second, I think. I thought I had. Oh, yeah, I am. Yes. Okay, well, let me, I'm reading them right now. Okay, yeah, take your time. Okay, yep, I remember that. I'm just going to grab my copy of them. Just going to minimize this for a moment. Minimize this. Thought I had. I thought they looked good, Mary, and I have just three little things. Okay, let me just get my paper copy here. Yeah, they're it's they're really tiny. Okay, what page are we on? Um, I'm going to share the screen for a second. And okay, so I am going. I bolded the things. Okay, so the first is on page. Four, and it is. Are you seeing it, Mary? Am I, have I shared this screen? I don't see it this time. I don't see it. All right, then that is what I'm. Now you can see it all bit. Page four. Okay, I have. It's the I very see. last paragraph. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's the the um, that property already has explosive storage so i think it might be they said the owners want to increase um the stored explosives okay. so to to increase i'm going to make the changes and i'll send it back to increase the amount and type of stored explosives and I will bold that okay so that um because that's what I recall them saying and I'm going to send this to you Mary too okay um okay and then the other two things that I saw were just two typos and it's on page five and in the paragraphs, and you probably would have found it yourself. I know, I know this was a draft. The paragraph that starts Mike Moore. Yeah. So regarding the. Oh, there's no separation there. No separation yeah. there. And then, and then in the paragraph following that, um, the second to the last line that you have two ifs and the second isn't it. Uh right in okay. here oh yes i see it thank you no that's all i found i thought they were very very thorough minutes go back up to the beginning who who was at this meeting now again I, i'm i'm sorry uh, who was at the meeting i'm sorry fred hang on yes. da, 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 da. um all of us were, you were here the only person yeah. not there was bob yep okay So I'm, you know, I don't want to pressure Fred or Kristen. If you want more nope. time to read it, no, I've, I, 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 I finished it. I, 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 well, I just. We'll be I, meeting next month too. <laughs> I, I would like to read it in yeah. more detail because Fine. the, uh, the Moors are appealing to the select board on this yes. issue, and I would like to make sure that what Roger and the rest of us have. If said and I quoted there is is accurate because uh, this is going to continue. This issue is going to continue. Fred, I'm very glad you brought that up. I am going. I what I will do is I will send. I don't know if Roger feels well enough to read minutes, but I should right. absolutely ask him. And I will send this copy. That um, I'll send it to you, Mary, and I'll also send it to Roger and just say to Roger that we know this is going to be continued and, and that we want to make sure he's being quoted accurately. 
Right. Okay. And send and send. Uh, I guess all of us here a, a, a copy with the revisions that were just agreed to. I will absolutely do that okay. right as soon as we're yeah. done. Okay. Or a little bit after we're done. <laughs> and, and I guess we could vote on it at the next meeting that yep. we have something coming up in uh, April, Mary. We have uh, an application from someone who wants to turn the blue school into, I think, nine apartments. Apartments. And, okay. and, the, one, the center um, school? Oh, the blue school, right? Blue school. Oh, the blue school. The blue yes. school. Um, I know the planning board is going to be requiring more information than arrived with the application for all the, the stuff that they address in detail about how things will work on the site, doing the site plan approval. Uh, it might work out that way some for the ZBA or, or maybe not, but I will get all the materials out to everybody. And uh, I'm sorry if I didn't send you the the interior plan for tonight's hearing. I guess maybe I would get used to people putting it in with the application and oh, Mary. it was separate. It, it was, it was so. no big deal. I mean, I was grateful that you said that she had dropped a hard copy off yeah. and because then it was no no problem at all to call her and she was very obliging. She sent it right oh, away. That's good. I, I guess I just assumed it, that when I sent the other documents, it was in with the application and I yeah. guess it wasn't. No. Uh, speaking of which, if there if documents are posted on the website, you know, with the agenda and the legal notice and all of that, yeah. that was on there. Could you have taken it from there, or does Zoom require something other than what's there? Was it was that was that plan on there? I think Some plan. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure it was. I think I, I saw copies of the Okay, plans. you know what? Yeah. I had just assumed when I read your email, Mary, I assumed that this was something she did kind of at the last moment. So no, if she if that had already been posted as a digital yes. document, we could have taken it. Oh, that's good to know then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just yes. I just assumed like you that everything that you sent we had and that she had done yeah. something at the last minute. But as I said, she was very I got it within five minutes of asking. So it was not yeah. it wasn't <laughs> an issue. Okay. So as far as when let's see, so you're gonna send the the updated version that everybody just approved to everybody. And right also now. to Roger and make sure everybody's okay with whatever was attributed to them and that kind of thing. Yes. And when are we, uh, let's see, what's the date in April? Is everybody available for the first Thursday in April? Um, I'm just checking that date. I would think so. It's this April 6th. Yes, I'm available. I'm, yes, I'm available. Yeah. Okay. And I will also write up this decision and um, take it to the town offices and I'll email you Fred and Kristen yes. when it's available so you can go sign it. Okay. Okay. Would you include me on that too, just so I know what's going on and when when to um, expect it? Uh, It'll, it'll give me a little nudge to get oh, absolutely, Mary. writing yes. up the mail, you know, getting the, the envelopes yes. and the all of that stuff ready. Yes, 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 yes. When it's done, I'm going to try to do it this weekend, frankly, and because I've got a, a bunch of stuff going on and then I'll I'll let you know. I'll let, I'll just see, I'll email all of you and say it's there. It's at the town offices. Okay. And I will write up the uh, legal notice for April 6th and get that submitted to the recorder Thank and you. do the mailing for, for that date. Okay. We've, you've got what two week, week or two to do that yeah yeah oh yeah 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 it has to it has to run the two preceding thursdays so there's uh there's a good chunk of time before that <laughs> okay okay does that seem like okay i will stop the recording now i think we're are you sure you want to stop